Hi, I'm Alicia Shelley. I'm a keeper in the North America region here at the zoo, and I'm also the chair of the Zoo's Enrichment Committee. Enrichment for the animals is offering the animals different opportunities each day to encourage natural behaviors or stimulate play activity, much like you and I would go to the movies or out to eat as a special treat. We try and do that for the animals and introduce different things into their environment each day. There are many different types of enrichment that we give the animals here at the zoo. One of those examples is olfactory enrichment, in which we stimulate the animal's sense of smell by offering them different um, items from other animals' exhibits, whether it's hair or feathers, or we actually use common kitchen spices or perfumes. The idea with that is that in the wild, these animals would be going around their territory and running into a lot of different scents. So we're trying to introduce that into their exhibit here at the zoo. We also stimulate play behavior by giving things like plastic bobbins and balls, a polar and ice flow, which is a big plastic block, um, kind of stimulates the animal's natural play behavior. One of the things we do um, is different methods of food presentation for the animals, whether it's their regular diet or their treats. Um, animals spend, a lot of them spend about 80% of their day looking for food in the wild, so we try and recreate that here a little bit by freezing their food into big blocks of ice or putting their food into a puzzle feeder so they have to kind of uh, think about a way to get it out. Um, we also stuff their food into big cardboard boxes or pinatas so they kind of have to dig through the cardboard to get it out. Many of our animals have favorite enrichment items. For example, our brown bears love to chew on stuff. So antlers um, and bones are a great enrichment item for them. It helps get the tartar off their teeth. It becomes a toy that they take into the pool and then they take it to bed with them at night. So it's kind of a multi-purpose enrichment item. Our timber wolves love everything smelly. So pretty much anything we can give them, the smellier the better. We give them different types of perfumes, different types of spices, hair from other animals. Um, this kind of is representative of what they would do in the wild. In the wild, when they're hunting, they would actually roll in the feces of a prey animal to cover up their scent while they're hunting. So we think that that may be why they like it so much here. Although enrichment is done on a daily basis here at the zoo, we highlight the program at several events throughout the year where visitors actually have the opportunity to come, follow a schedule, and see the animals get special treats throughout the day. Eggs, Paws, and Claws in the spring offers you the opportunity to come and see the animals hunt for eggs or colored melons. At Pinata Party, you can see the animals tear into paper mache items with their favorite treats inside. Enrichment Day at the end of June offers visitors not only the opportunity to see the animals in action tearing into their favorite enrichment items, but it also gives you an opportunity at 10 different stations throughout the zoo to participate in the enrichment as well. We also have block and roll in the heat of the summer where animals get trash can sized ice blocks with their favorite treats frozen inside. Pumpkin smash during boo at the zoo where the animals get pumpkins or pumpkins with treats. We even have an enrichment event in December where the animals get painted boxes, decorated up and stuffed with their favorite treats and open it up to see what the surprise is inside. For a complete list of these events, just visit the zoo's website. Hope to see you at the zoo.